afternoon it's a misfit one here and I got a treat for my subscribers today I'm going to hit three different taco restaurants for three different meals all in one day first stop is Makate we're going to hit Gringo Gringo's ribs and chicken second stop will be Vatos in BGC third stop will be over in the uh, red light district of P. Burjo Street in Makati gonna hit El Chupacabra so I'm gonna bring you guys along as I go to three different taco restaurants all in the same day and if any of you watched any of my older videos and for the people that haven't you can always go back and check them out That was quite a hole. I hope my tire's in one piece. Uh. Anyway, if you that haven't seen my older videos, go back and check them out. You will notice that I am a taco aficionado. I do enjoy the tacos. So yeah, somewhat of a taco aficionado and I will admit that's been kind of tough here it's been a really hit or miss with a lot of restaurants here and of course if I ain't vlogging it ain't raining so we're getting a little bit of rain here now too it's been really hit or miss with the tacos ingredients that good Really, the, the two major things is just the, the seasonings that they put on them here. Sometimes they get a little bland. Cheese, cheese, they like to use a lot of process. And the biggie here is sour cream, man. Sour cream, it is hard to find sour cream here. It doesn't taste anything like sour cream there. sour cream that I'm used to. Sour cream here isn't sour. It's it almost it just tastes like a little bit thicker milk. And that Nestle's, oh, that is not too good. It actually almost has the consistency of milk. I've toyed with the idea of making my own sour cream. See some full cream milk and some vinegar and a jar to store it in until it sours. Here's what I consider the gateway to Makati. The flyovers here and the new uh, Skyway extension. Once you pass this, you are definitely in Makati. Raining. It don't feel too bad out now. It's kind of cooled off a little. Really? You, you really passed that bus just so you could cut around in front of it and then stop in front of the bus. <laughs> Make our right turn here on Ayala Boulevard Avenue. Cause we're gonna rock down to Ayala Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. Hey, 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 hey! hey. And then the light turns green. Pure perfection. Oh man! Spectacular. Hannibal used to say, I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, we're going to turn, uh, make a right up here, and then I think another right. And then there was some free parking. When I came and ate at Vingo, Vingo's the eatery there, 
I parked there, so we'll try the same one. Here, and there's a parking area. I said it was free. We need a Vingo's. I'm leaving Vingo's off my taco trip today because, in all honesty, their tacos weren't very good. I got, to, I'm trying to remember El Pastor and then something else. And the, the, the meat in it was like 90% just fat. I'm just chewing and chewing and chewing. And eventually I just had to spit it out. So I took another bite, the same exact thing. The, the whole thing in there was just unedible, chewable. So I'm not a fan of Vingo's. It looks nice. Man, they turned out some good looking food. It's kind of like Charlie Does. The video if you watched for her in Bel Air when I went to the restaurant, Charlie Does. It's all style, no substance. It looks really good, but man, you taste it, it ain't that great. Bingo! Come on, Aircon. I'm oh, like busy. I'm busy. Yeah, I can bring us. Okay, I just finished eating at Gringo's, and I've ate there, well, not at that branch, but at a different branch, and I've had that adobe black mole before, and it's pretty good. It's one of the better tacos that I've had here. Today, new branch that I've gone to, not quite as delicious as it normally is. <clears throat> Which way you want, this way or that way? Not quite as delicious as it normally is. Usually it's also fairly moist. This one is a little dry. So next stop is going to be Vatos in BGC. On well, Makati Avenue here and you've got the famous Peninsula Manila Hotel. There's a fountain there. I don't know how many selfies have been taken in front of that fountain. I mean, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe. It is the selfie capital of the world. Trying to leave Makati to get the BGC to try out the Vato's Tacos. And, uh, I, yeah, it's a downpour. Quite the crowd waiting on the lines here. So I guess I'll hang out here in Greenbelt and hope for the rain to end in the next hour or two. Well, with the weather not playing nice, I don't think I'm going to make it to Vato's. So since I'm at Greenbelt, I'll get my taco fix by eating at Chihuahua. Exotica. With all the rain, I had to ditch my helmet cam 
since it's not waterproof at that time. I've since remedied that. But what we're going to do is a little uh, aftermarket uh, narration here. So I went to Chihuahuas, and right now I got in my head this place looks pretty good. They got three tacos for under 200 pesos, which is an excellent deal, and they tasted pretty good. I'm now making my way to our last stop here. And that is El Chupacabra. So we're going to check it out and see how El Chupacabra was. Okay, so I made it to El Chupacabra and they had a deal going on. If you get a beef taco, you get a margarita all for 100 pesos, which is actually a pretty good deal. Now the regular tacos are going to run a little bit more and honestly aren't as tasty. So you may be wondering after my three stops, which one's winning out? Well, number one on my list has got to be Chihuahua. Chihuahua had the best tasting tacos and the best price three for under 200 pesos number two it's gonna have to be gringo gringo had a very good taste in taco the price isn't as competitive as chihuahuas still tasted good but not as good and my loser out of the three is gonna have to be el chupacabra the prices are kind of high on the regular tacos and they really don't taste like much. It's very disappointing. I was hoping for more out of them because they, you know, their food usually looks good on, on Facebook, but yeah, felt kind of laid down. So my winner, what I recommend is try Chihuahuas. I got one at Greenbelt and they've got another one in BGC. So I appreciate you guys for coming along on this journey to taste tacos with me. We did three taco places all in the same day. Uh, I think my Tullet is going to hate me tomorrow. <laughs> we'll find out. That's a story for another day. So take care. Have a good night, Misfit Riders.